She had a bit of snow on her, but uh, I got some mixed gas, and I think that'll do just fine. We were going to have our bonfire on Guy Fox night last weekend, but uh, it wasn't uh, the best weather, and the kids are tired, so we decided to have it this weekend. Get the generator going and everything's looking good. And then see how everyone's doing. How's hey, everyone doing in here? Doing good at least? What? Doing good? Oh one just go just I'm just at the with the crowd and just see. Right on. Oh, you got the thing on, the blessed Lord. Oh, you want to hear that? There we go now. Everyone else over in the cabin. Key out, collecting. Oh, yeah, she'll burn now. A little bit of snow, no be. Hey, bro. Cheers. Cheers. No, I feel like the focus is off a little bit. Focus is off. We'll come out and take a look around,
We got a lot going on. We are trying to get the cabin. Do some decorating here for Christmas today. So basically right now, we've just got everything all over the place and we're just taking things in. Sibby's actually taking things out and kind of contributing to the mess here a little bit. Whew. We were down yesterday and warmed up the cabin a little bit. And we're back today, a little bit later than we had hoped for, but that's kind of how things go nowadays. We only move at a certain pace with the two little ones. So, yeah, we're down. Sounds good, my love. So, we're gonna try to do some Christmas decorating down here. Um, we got all kinds of stuff on the go. Um, I picked up some of the like china that I had, bone china that I was collecting, probably like started collecting over 10 years ago, but haven't collected much recently. But I brought this stuff down because I thought it would suit decorating at the cabin. Um, some of our plants died because we left them down here in the cold. That's unfortunate. This pothos was with us for three years, traveled with us from Halifax, but no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, I'm trying to incorporate some copper into the cabin. Like, I really like that look um, with the green cabinets. It's kind of like the color palette. I'm going for to have some copper and metallic tones. Even our vintage chandelier here that came with the cabin is brass and has glass elements on it. So. Yeah, and trying to incorporate some of that. This is just a dollar store frame and an Etsy print, but it has some copper and gold on it. We have all these baskets that Aunt Louise gave us, so we dropped by and got those today. Um, things are a little bit all over the place right now, but that's okay. We're gonna try to make some Christmas, some Christmas magic happen here. So it's gonna be simple. Boyce is gonna try to cut a tree. We're gonna put the tree right here. And um, we have a bunch of dried um, oranges that we're gonna string up with some twine and make some garland for the tree and then also maybe for over some of the windows. Um, we have some Christmas decorations here from our Christmas tree that we haven't had up in a couple of years. So, uh -oh. Little Miss is getting busy. We gotta get to her. Those are some sand new hats. But yeah, we'll um, keep you posted on how, how everything goes. We'll document all of this Christmas making that we're doing today and tidying. Trying to capture some of Miss Kia. Kia's gonna be 15 years old soon. And like on the 28th is her birthday. And she'll be 15. She's gone just so quick as that. Oh. Do you have anywhere we can put like this stuff? Just toss it in the back door. And like the soil too, is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll leave here. I'll bring it up to the compost. Okay. Is it still good to put this in the compost? Yeah. I was gonna try to organize this stuff okay. right here. And we'll put our tree going. Hey, 
back at the cabin and I got Buxa and I'm gonna head out and uh, just around the property here and look for a Christmas tree for us for Christmas. There's lots of trees here. I'm just gonna try and find the right one. Wish me luck. See the good ones, Kia? Lots of bunny pets here. Lots of rabbit paths. We have the generator going. You can probably hear it. The lights are on back there. Just gonna go get that tree now. I feel like it around here somewhere. Maybe a good place for one. See, that's not a bad tree right there. I kind of wanted a, a fir tree, like this one right here. I mean, this black spruce will do too. Actually looks like a nice tree. Uh, I'm going to take a little quick look around to see if there's anything else here. Um, but if not, this might be the one right here. Now, I didn't want to go too far because I got to drag it back to the cabin. And I kind of want a place where the tree is kind of in the open so that the crown is spread out really nicely, like very symmetrical. Um, this one here, this hair fur looks like a nice one um, but like I said I'm a little bit away from the cabin now I'm gonna make my way back through and uh, see if I can find maybe a little bit of a smaller one a little better tree uh, that I can take we only want about a six foot tree we're gonna put it in our kitchen so but uh, I'm gonna head back because I'm out here probably about I don't know, qu three quarters of a kilometer away from the cabin I don't have to uh, I don't want to have to drag it back the entire ways, but uh, looks like there's some decent trees around her. So I have a feeling that I'm going to find it soon. All right, here goes. All right, so I'm sweating, but I walk, walked all around probably, I don't know, a kilometer or so. And I think that uh, there's a lot around that's like fairly big, but I don't need a big one. So I came back to this one here, right here. I think he's gonna be the one. So I'm gonna cut it down now. Alright, I got him. I'm gonna drag him back over to the cabin. Here we go. Okay, so I got things a little bit more 
organized up here on the shelves. Um, Boyce ran out and got us a Christmas tree and he cut some boughs for me to do some little centerpieces and like garland with. And he managed to cut his finger. We got one kid down, one kind of chillaxing. So we're gonna try to hammer out the rest of this Christmas decoration. Yeah, this is how I ended up rearranging things here. Or at least this is where we are with it right now. And we hung a picture right there. So I'm gonna work on a centerpiece with these boughs and some candles. This is kind of like my inspiration for the centerpiece, so we'll see how it goes. That's black spruce there, and that one's just fur. Oh. I think we're going to use black spruce for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Baba? Probably gonna smell in here when all smell good in here when all this is done. Let me put the candles in first. Hold it. So just take up some sand there. Is it going to be happy to you? I don't think Also, like to lay it against something. Yeah, thank you too. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the side piece.
Cheap decorations. Huh? Cheap decorations. Yeah, it's kind of like what they would do back in the day, you know, and that's like kind of the origin of the reef, I feel. Yeah. It's, you take an evergreen tree and it symbolizes that. Although it's cold outside, it will be spring for a week to you. Into the, just into the vibe, like I feel like it suits the atmosphere here, like the cabin setting, rather than just kind of a bunch of like plastic stuff. Mm -hmm. Is there any like real pine cones outside? There might be some on that one pine tree we have out here, big point. Um, I guess I can just put these in. I mean, we can always pick them up with another ones. time when it's light out and stuff. Yeah. I'll just add these in for now. What do you think of our side piece? Huh? Okay, so, what do you think of our side piece? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, you want to take those two baskets down for me? I'm going to do bows and bows now and those holly leaves and have that one. And these things are real nice. It's like, it's just say, uh, all these needles are basically going to fall off. Yeah, it's going to be messy so here, hey? Well, we don't have to keep it up. We can take it down until we come back and then just redo it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures of what it looks like, and then, because uh, I remember our trees, always Christmas trees, and we needles there. Yeah, you have to like sweep it every day. Just like it's not in water, when they're not in water, they fall asleep. Yeah. Some projectors just to see what you can find. I know you can get like small ones for under a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Hi, little girl. How's my sweet girl doing? Hi, sweet girl. Hi,